This is a short video showing how the Pocket Wizard Flex TT5 is used and how to disassemble it. This is the Flex TT5. It has a articulating antenna like this. It's intended to be used like this with a flash. And you would have the antenna pop up so that you'd get a improved performance. There's definitely a uh, performance hit when the antenna is down. When uh, the antenna is up like this or like this, you definitely get improved performance. The flash itself on the centering of the of the SWR affects loads the antenna by about 10 megahertz. So the the sweet spot uh, drops by about 10 megahertz. So if you're testing it without the flash, you'd be looking for the sweet spot to be about 10 megahertz below the band. To disassemble the Flex TT5, I have drilled a hole in the case here, but alternatively you can open the battery door, stick your finger in fairly deeply, pop the door up slightly, catch it with your finger, close the door and it pops off. Take this screw out, take these two screws out, this screw out, it feels like it's fairly stripped already. Then if you put this wheel in a certain position, you can get at all four screws fairly easily. And these four screws come out as well. These are 12 millimeters. This is 10, 8, and 6 millimeters, I believe. When this hot shoe finally comes out, you'll see that it's attached by a flexible printed circuit board. And we'll have to disconnect that, and in a later video I'll show you how to reconnect it. So, here's how it's all connected. Uh, you, I typically trap the flexible printed circuit board with my finger, and you can either open the gates on the, flexible, on the connector or just pull it off and it comes apart. The shot hot shoe aside. This unit, oops, get all the screws out, it will come apart. Okay, inside we have this circuit board. You can see the antenna will now flip out. Now there is foam on the back side, so it sometimes does stick. Alternatively, we can just take these two circuit boards out, uh, these, excuse me, these two screws out, and uh, the circuit board will then come out, but then you have to deal with the switches, which aren't important for what you're doing. So, here's the uh, the current uh, here's the current antenna clip with foam in the back, so it it contacts the back of the case and takes up some space, so it m ensures it has sufficient contact on this antenna connection right here. So, this is uh, this is how the antenna is hooked up. I can now show you how to reassemble this. See, we have all kinds of switches and things, but uh, I'll show you how to do it all. So you fold this down so that you can see that the bump is up. You put this in and make sure that the slots inside this pin line up with the plastic uh, ribs on the inside of the case. The switches these sliders get placed onto the nubs at this point. Oh, on this on this unit, it's you just stick them in. Make sure these switches are centered. Let's see, maybe I've got this wrong. Yeah, no, nope, that's exactly it. You put them on. They stay. Make sure that's seated correctly. Place the uh, hold the antenna shut. You've got this little light pipe that may or may not fall out. Again, this is not important for what you're doing. It's just a full assembly. 
This switch goes in next. Be careful not to break off the nub at the end. And put this in. It just sits loosely in there. The case then goes on. You can install all the screws except for the hot shoe screws right now. I'll only do a couple to save a little time in this video. Well, at least the ones that will fall out immediately. So to get this, get this hot shoe back in, you open the ears on this connector. Be gentle. But for your purposes, it doesn't matter even if it's... Your purposes, well, to get a correct SWR, you need it. So then you take a corner of the flexible print circuit board, you dip it into the connector, and then insert the connector in fully. Press it with your thumb. And then take an object like the screwdriver and close the locks on the flexible print circuit board, and then push it in. Screw all the screws shut, and then to put this back in, you notice the two sides are round, and the, the uh, ears on this side are, are longer than the ears on this side, so you dip those in first, snap it down, and it's fully assembled. That's all there is.